Hello, it's Samantha Moe, Certified Parent Coach, with your Mad to Glad Parenting Tip of the Week to help you restore some sanity. Has your child ever said your name like 10 times in a 30-second period? Mom, 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 and it drives you crazy? Well, one of the reasons for that is it actually triggers the stress response in your brain because they're starting phrases with your name. So you know what that feels like inside of you, right? It makes you irritable, it makes you tense, it makes you want to escape. Well, the same thing is true for your child. So if you say, Johnny, get over here. Johnny, stop throwing toys. Johnny, did you do your homework? Johnny, it's time for dinner. What's going to happen is it creates the stress response in the brain so that your child associates you with stress, A, and secondly, makes them more likely to trigger over other little things you ask them to do when you ask them to pick up their stuff or get ready to leave the house. And so I want to give you a really practical tip for how to calm the fire in the brain for your child, but also for you. And so today's parenting tip is really focusing on something you can teach your child to do. When your child is saying your name over and over, you want to teach them two things. Number one, you want them to go through the touch channel rather than the auditory channel. So what I mean by this is you want to teach your child to say, hey, if you need something, I will listen as long as you come across the room and you touch me on my shoulder. Number two, you want that to give them a word that they can use rather than telling them what not to do. So if you're telling your child, don't say my name across the room, the brain doesn't hear the word no and what not to do. So instead, you're going to teach your child to say, excuse me. And so your child comes up to you, touches you and says, excuse me, mom then you'll respond to them. Now the interesting thing about this strategy is that kids can get really good at this even at a young age. I've seen kids three and four years old able to do this. Not always 100%, but they learn this strategy as long as you role play it. So you really want to practice this outside the moment of infraction, or in this case, we could even say irritation. <laughs> so when if your child typically yells at you across the room while you're cooking dinner, then when they get home from school before you've started dinner, you're going to say, hey, do you know, do you know how yesterday I was cooking dinner and you needed help getting something off the shelf and you said my name a million times and I yelled at you, what? Stop saying my name. I want to do something differently because it doesn't make me feel good to yell. So let's try this. When you want to get my attention, I would love to help you, but I need you to do these two things. So you, you have them do the touch, you have them say excuse me, and then you want to role play it. When you rehearse new skills, it creates a map in your child's brain, making them more likely to remember it when the actual moment comes up. Now, this, in order for this to really work, you want to role play it, and in the moment when they forget and they start saying your name, you also want to remind them, oh, I'm happy to listen, but there's two things you got to do. Remember what they are, and you don't ask them, do you remember what they are? I want you to tell them, remember what they are, touch me, and say, excuse me. When you ask a child, that kind of contributes to the stressful dynamic between the two of you. And so because you're training a new skill, it's okay for you to just give them the information up front rather than trying to drill them. That will be much better for your guys' relationship. Now, on April 22nd, I am doing a webinar called Create Calm Without the Storm. And I think we have space for 200 registrants, so there should be enough space for you if you'd like to join us. April 22nd, I believe that's a Wednesday, and it will be at 1230. So if you're working, you can do it over the lunch hour. I'd love to have you join me because I'm sharing three tips to create more calm and helping your child develop better self-control so that you don't get stuck in this dynamic that drains your energy. Registration information is below. I'd love for you to grab your spot, and I will talk to you more there. See ya.